Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. Enjoying this wonderful pizza from Slice on Broadway. The people in Pittsburgh that provide good pizza to podcasters. Hey guys, it's Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here for AwesomeCast.net with a new show, the very first Maiden Voyage edition of what we're going to be calling, I think we've settled on the Awesome Chat. By the time this is up, we'll have graphics, etc., etc. It'll be on the site. It'll be beautiful. It'll be fine. But uh, this is, of course, a, a kind of a side thing from the awesome cast I wanted to do here. Uh, most likely kind of spun off Indie Mayhem show for interviews with our uh, with our indie friends uh, from the Wrestling Mayhem show. I thought like we need a, 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 a longer platform to have longer discussions with uh, some of the awesome people around Pittsburgh and technology and about what they're doing around here. And uh, the one of the first guys I called and the first guy in studio to do this is john chamberlain with yajagoff.com how you doing today i'm good how are you does that since i'm first does that mean i'm the i'm one of the people that has nothing else going on <laughs> during the day is that, is that <laughs> pretty much yeah yeah you you have that wonky schedule like i have apparently where <laughs> yes. you can just be like ah oh, we'll just do whatever yeah. it's cool yeah. you know um but uh but no no thank you for coming in and coming in studio this is an option i don't need everybody <laughs> to come in studio we have google hangout and everything i know everybody's busy but but thank you for coming down Oh, it's my pleasure. I mean, you've been since our since the first pod camp I ever met you and, and Missy. You know, you guys have always been very supportive, so it's the least I can do. Actually. Awesome, awesome. And we are no, we're not live streaming because this is going to be. We don't have a regular time for this. Uh, we're going to be doing it wherever we can get our interviewees, and uh, we're putting it up here. Usually within the next week, depends on how how many uh, we get kind of built up here. Uh, but we are using Periscope, so if there's anybody joining us on Periscope, they might uh, chime in a little bit here. So that's a little bit of interaction we are doing with the show, and we'll develop something, maybe something as we go go along and kind of fit into what we want this show to be. Uh, so. Uh, let's get uh, into first of all, your jagoff.com. That's what you're known for. You're the jagoff, <laughs> right? Yeah, I guess. I guess in some way, or the jagoff catcher, or yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the jagoff pointer outer. Yeah, can be very technical. Yeah. So, so, uh, and I know we've talked about this pr- the way back the first time you were on with us at, on Awesome Cast. How did your jagoff.com start? Ah, uh, it, it's so great because it's fresh in my mind. I just did an interview the other night on a podcast, but <laughs> it it. It, you know, I'm a, I'm a nasty driver. I hate dumb drivers. Right. And, uh, and I hate when people are ignorant to each other, mm-hmm. you know, and don't think of others. And uh, one day I was going to have a, um, I was going to have a, uh, a beer with my buddy Gary. And I was driving down this road, which is a single lane each way. And there's a bus in front of me. And that bus kept going and stopping in the middle of the road at the bus stops to let the people on versus pulling into the curb. Mm-hmm. And, and of course, pulling into the curb is a nice customer service thing, but it also allows the traffic to go past the bus, mm-hmm. right? So now there's this line of traffic, and I was so frustrated because I'm always running late. And, uh, and, and, and I thought, I wish there was a place that I could post a picture of this bus and complain about it. And uh, kind of one thing led to another, and uh, I picked up the phone. I, I had no idea how to blog. I had no idea about what all was involved. I called my buddy Dan Cashado. I said, how do I start a blog? And there was dead silence, and then he offered to help. And I'm sure he's regretted the, the offer to help ever since because I always call <laughs> and whine when there's technical things wrong with it. And uh, But anyways, and my first blog post was the Winter Classic when the Penguins played the uh, Capitals. Mm-hmm. And uh, and uh, the it was a Chamber of Commerce day. You know, it was beautiful. It was sunny. It was warm, January 1st. But it was too warm to play the game when they wanted to play the game. So my first blog post ever was... Uh, was uh, um, calling out Mother Nature as a jag off for having bad weather. <laughs> so, and awesome. it went on from there. <laughs> so you started out with the whole park, like kind of parking jack. So it's not just yeah. like a Yins Camp Park like we have now or anything like that. Like you're very much like like just jag offs in general in the city, right? Yeah. 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 It started off, you know, certainly I've had people uh, send me tons and tons of people who cannot park, who mm-hmm. cannot drive uh you know and and things like that but then it it morphed into you know dumb criminals bad politicians stupid sports officials you know when someone makes a bad call on uh on um you know on 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 a steeler game or pens game certainly you know they get posted as jagoffs you know i get a lot of topical news and then when there's nothing topical going on then 
you know, I've uh, I've posted things from my own house, like my kids who don't cover the food in the refrigerator, <laughs> and and now I have to eat butter that tastes that tastes and smells like chocolate syrup, garlic, Parmesan butter. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so is this wait? So is this like a uh, is this a special? Um, uh, is this like the punishment in the house? Like stay in line, you might end up on my blog. Yeah, you know? yeah exactly. I have had this is interesting. I've actually had people say to me. Uh, by the way, I parked the other day and I was crooked. I turned around and I looked and I and I went back and I fixed my car so that nobody would send their picture to me. <laughs> so you're to behavior me. <laughs> correcting people. There you like go. like you, you have like a genuine result. Yes. <laughs> from yes. this blog <laughs> and the corrective nature to the public. That's exactly. fantastic. This is a public service people. Exactly. <laughs> and and the picture you just flashed, that's the other behavior I want to change. Like traveling. Traveling jag officer. Oh my god, that one that picture, I hate it. I don't understand why people think at the baggage claim they all deserve a front row to the baggage claim trail. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, if everybody would just take four steps back then I wouldn't have to hip check grandma to go in there and get my bag, you know, when it comes down. I mean, they see it coming down. They know there are little pink ribbons on their handle and just step up and get the bag. But no, everybody has to stand right in the front row. So you have to, oops, so you have to, uh, did that make a noise? No, just, you're fine, I'm you're a, fine. I'm a technical idiot, you know that, and I just proved <laughs> that. But uh, yeah, you know, at the, so at the airport, everybody has to stand right there in front. of. If everybody just stand back and watch their bag to come down, we could all get in there and get our bags and get out. I don't get it. <laughs> it's great. It's great. I, I actually subscribe to the emails uh, every day, so I, I, I get the little, well, I appreciate little bit of the jet yeah. jag offering the in my inbox. I'm one of the ten. <laughs> I don't want to miss anything, you know. <laughs> so, um, so you've been at this a few years, and uh, you know, you've you spoke keynote last last year at at Pocky yeah. Pittsburgh, and I think on the show here, and I think in that as well, you, you talked about um, how how somehow you have more Twitter followers than your kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When <laughs> when I so I didn't tell my kids, I didn't tell anybody what I was doing. I just kind of quietly went about it because I didn't want anybody to think like they had to read it because they were my friend, you know. Right. And uh, right. so. And then I didn't say anything about it. And uh, but when I did say something about it after I forget when it occurred, one thing was a Hawaii thing I'll tell you about in a second. But <laughs> when I when when my daughter realized I was on Twitter and I had more followers than her, she like freaked out. She's always asking me, how many followers do you have on Instagram? How many followers do you have on Twitter? So so it's kind of funny. So I like it because it ticks them off. <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome i got your twitter account right here uh and you're uh oh it wants me to sign in uh you're well over ten thousand followers that's yeah that's you know awesome. i don't know how that happened quite <laughs> frankly you know i it, it's it's, it's kind of cool you know but I, I remember being i remember it being like not at a thousand mm -hmm. and then i was at that two thousand thing where you're not allowed to follow more until you unfollow and all that crap you know and i thought and i thought you know uh, you know, I, I said, I just have to not even think about it because for me, it was like trying to lose that last five pounds when you're on a diet, like you just can't get there. So I just said, you know what? And, uh, some ladies in Hawaii that I know gave me great advice that just, just do content, 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 content. Right. Right. And, and, and I just forgot about it. And the next thing, I can't even tell you when it, I, I don't even know when the numbers started to really grow. I really don't. I'm not. I know I, I didn't I didn't even look at it just kind of just kind of came up one day that it was growing it's kind of cool but you know you're also very realistic to know that 10,000 people don't really care what you say <laughs> you know maybe out of 10,000 there's a couple hundred that actually and, listen and to stuff you. like uh, this okay I saw the tweets and I'm glad you had the video to catch me up oh, the yeah. <laughs> house floating down the river I guess earlier today was it or that yesterday? was yesterday actually yeah. wow <laughs> <laughs> and this is uh, well now we're going to get pulled because it was mlb.com so <laughs> uh. <laughs> but that's awesome so it's generally a little bit of everything. So, um, so, so, so you've obviously uh, there's a few things, definitely some things that you've done thanks to the blog. Yes, right. Yes. Uh, 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 aside from the public service of making people hopefully be less jagoffs yes. out there, and this general awareness here. Um, so, so what, what what has this led to? Like, what what kind of what was your first kind of surprise? Like, oh crap, I have something here. Um, I didn't tell anybody about it, and in six months, I, it, uh, I didn't even know there was such an, a recognition or whatever, but CBS Pittsburgh uh, created some something, and they said, hey, 
your jag off is the cbs pittsburgh blog of this you know blog of the year or something like that whatever they made up and uh so that was my well your competition is me so you got <laughs> you got way above me <laughs> don't worry about it. i'm no competition there over here so <laughs> so and then that, that's kind of when i told my family and then the next cool thing was i got to, i've had two trips to hawaii because of the blog Wow. And uh, I might, I've only gone to Detroit, <laughs> <laughs> which has the cool tunnel, by the way, the creepy tunnel, the creepy cool tunnel at the Detroit airport. Oh, oh no, okay. well, no, I drove oh, and I was trying drove. to get the okay. heck out of okay. there before I, something yeah. bad happened. <laughs> yeah. So, but that's, all, another, that's a story for another podcast. I can, yeah. So. <laughs> uh, no, what was cool is I found, uh, some, you know, I didn't want to tell anybody here about the blog. Mm -hmm. So I found the, uh, Wahine media, uh, is on Twitter and two ladies run that. And I just started talking to them on Twitter about how about this and what about this and what about blogging? And they gave me advice on how to do things. And one day I was sitting there and all of a sudden my Twitter feed started to jump and I was getting Twitter, uh, Twitter links from Hawaii of people. I sent them a t-shirt a don't be a jag off t-shirt to say, thanks for all that you've done for me. I appreciate the help. Well, here they were at a conference and they were talking about how we built this relationship. They don't understand Pittsburghese. They don't understand mm -hmm. this, but mm -hmm. here's this guy sent them these t-shirts and on and on and on. Next thing you know, people were tweeting me uh, and uh, from, from this Hawaii conference and they're holding up my t-shirt. So one thing led to another and the following, and it was the Hawaii social media, annual social media summit. And so the cool thing was, is the next two years after that, I got to go present. And, nice. uh, and yeah, I mean, fantastic. And who's the guy that started Harrow, the help a reporter, um, you know, the big social media, they get these big social media people to come over and talk and, and, you know, and you get to meet them and hang out with them and yeah. then attend the conference as well. Then here's little piddly me, you know, sitting there <laughs> and I'm speaking about Jagoffs and sure enough, there's 50 people in the room and, you know, 10 of them have some kind of link to Pittsburgh. And so we got them all yelling Jagoffs and Steelers and all that kind of stuff. It's, <laughs> One of the coolest things ever. Yeah, it's it was weird, and I don't know if this happens with a lot of cities because I know we've, uh, you know, Penn's blog, you jag off, you know, uh, you know, all all the kind of Pittsburgh-based media thing, uh, and, and and you know, our friend Hutch with Bird's Eye View talked about all these expatriates of Pittsburgh and how people have left, and now there's, there's Steelers bars in Florida. Yes. There's a Permanis down there, part, partly probably because of it. You know, um, um, are we like? Do other cities have this kind of thing, or is it just because we had this big steel exodus kind of happen over the last thirty years? Yeah, I don't have any definitive research, but that's my that's my anecdotal idea mm -hmm. is that you know we're so happy. It's funny because we celebrate the fact that there are all these Steelers bars, mm -hmm. but actually it's because the Steelers were kings back in those days, and that's when everybody was exiting. You know, the mm -hmm. Pittsburgh dream was basically to get an education and move south right you know <laughs> move to charlotte or whatever you know right, that was the right, pittsburgh right. dream get some better weather yeah exactly and uh and so there's so many people that had to leave and so that's really not anything to celebrate but it is kind of cool that kind of you know we have we have our little uh pods in all these little cities which is and i don't know of any other city that really has that you know how many people like you said left detroit you know and are around somewhere I don't right know. right I don't that might be that a big clean. deal too i mean yeah. that, that, you gotta think about that like the uh, red wings are, are pretty big too. yeah yeah probably one of the b bigger ones Pen yeah. penguins seem yeah. to be like the team to follow and all they're always the one getting the game of the week on NBC. yeah which is a pain if you're trying to do game center and <laughs> you yeah right. somewhere else because you don't get everything because there's all on nhl network or something else there's nothing yeah. on root sports anymore it seems yeah um, um, yes, but yeah, uh, yeah. But, but and then the last, the the most recent cool thing, which was I thought I was getting spammed. A fa someone sent me a Facebook message one night at like eleven thirty at night. Said they were a producer from the Steve Harvey show and the Steve Harvey talk show, and uh, and they wanted to know if I'd be interested in doing an Ask Steve segment. And I'm like, so I took. I, I'm like, what the heck is this? And it turned out to be that uh, on the Steve Harvey show they have this Ask Steve segment where. Um, People ask silly questions, and it gives him an opportunity to do some of his stand-up. And uh, so I went through, and I, they said, hey, will you submit some questions, and do you know some other people, and on and on and on. So I ended up that they, where they were choosing four people to stand outside in Pittsburgh with Jackie Kane from WTAE and ask Steve a question into the show, and then he would answer it. So I was able, so I got chosen, me and uh, three other people from Pittsburgh, three women, uh, and I got the, there you go. And so I got to ask a question about a Primanti Brothers sandwich. So, we, and they just, <laughs> we taped it like uh, four four weeks ago and it just ran last week. And nice. uh, so a little two minutes of, 
of fame. But I, th I thought, how did she find me? And she said, well, I found you through your blog. And no, well, <laughs> there you go. Kind of, kind of a cool thing. Put, your, put yourself out there. It's what, what it's about, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, and that's kind of the thing, you know, Karen from Wahine Media, she said, you know, your blog's not going to get any bigger until you come out from behind the curtain. Right. And I wasn't hiding for any particular reason. Well, I just didn't think it really mattered. Who cares about John Chamberlain? You know what I mean? So, but on the other hand, you know, you know, been able to get to go to some events and now the video interviews, obviously, I mean, the video interviews have been a fun thing to do. And I've gotten to do meet a lot of people because of the blog, you know, and, and do those things. And the video mm -hmm. interviews are what caught the people's eye at the Steve Harvey show. Right, right. So, so one thing leads to it. How did you get to do the, get to say, hey, we need to do video interviews here? Quite frankly, I was getting bored. <laughs> I was getting bored. That's, that's I, I can relate to that. <laughs> with like, posting I, I, I had a really, I had a really boring couple months here. Let's start three new shows. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah. See, yeah. So and and then the other thing was, the you know, there's one person who I kind of knew but didn't really know, and that's TC, the beer guy that everybody knows at all the stadiums. He he has a distinctive whistle. He has, you know, every, and he sings, he dances, he makes fun of people and all this kind of stuff. And uh, he, uh, you know, I wanted to know what's TC's story? Like, who is he? Where He's a beer guy. You know, everybody knows him as the favorite beer guy. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, sure enough, I, I said, you know, let's go videotape him. So I got a hold, figured out how to get a hold of him. I, and uh, one thing, again, led to another. And I said, we need to start this series, Yakking With You Jag Off. And let's talk to the people, the sax man who stands outside of all the stadiums. And you either love him or hate him because if he rips on you, you hate him. If he rips on your friend, you give him a dollar and you crack up, right? So, uh, so you know, what's his story? His name's Reggie. He's from, you know, the Mont Hall area, I think it is, or whatever. But fact is, you know, those are local icons that nobody knows anything about. And then it's kind of dovetailed into I've had a chance to interview Billy Gardell and Steve Byrne, all Pittsburghers, and we got the chance to interview Garth Brooks for a few minutes. What he yeah, was I saw so that I was like, come across Whoa, like, how about this guy? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, so, you know, all from this silly, stupid little blog you jag off. You know, so it's kind of a cool thing. That's awesome. That's what, and I, I know I've run into you actually doing it at Scarehouse before. <laughs> then we right. got to go through the Scarehouse together, which That's was right. amazing. I'm like, oh, I was already through. Oh, no, no, I got to go through with him because <laughs> I got to see his reaction to stuff I know is coming. So, but yeah, that, yeah, yeah, it's been fun. Yeah, <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, and uh, I mean, and, and and you get good response from this and everything, you know. I, I mean, you and so I was trying to find your early one. You have so many videos up there now. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. If if you if you go to the blog and type in uh, beer guy, mm -hmm. uh, search beer guy, you'll see the first one uh, with with TC, and then and then uh, really odd. These guys from three to one blink. They contacted me on Twitter and said, "Hey, these videos, we'd like to shoot them for you." I'm like. Hey guys, there's no oh, money awesome. in this thing, you know. Yeah. And they're like, no, 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 let's just shoot them. And now they've been shooting them, and we get together a couple times a month and try to stack a bunch of shoots together. And uh, it, what's really good is, you know, they have a nice sense of, they have a good sense of humor. So I don't. There's TC, yeah, man, he's the man. <laughs> but, and uh, you know, there I am, younger, skinnier, <laughs> still with a hat to cover up my baldness. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah. Uh, and so they, you know, they shoot the videos and, uh, and again, I don't have to sit over them and, and f tell them how to edit because they kind of have a good sense they of know humor, what they do. you know, yeah. and it just works out really well. And, uh, and the production levels come up a little <laughs> slightly, it's production levels come up a lot because I shot them all on my flip cam and edited them. I, my I remember the Vegas. flip cam. I'm like, yeah. oh, I don't know how that's going to do in here. <laughs> yeah. so, they come now with all this like, you know cool stuff and what's really funny is we we did an interview with chris and uh, kurt from pittsburgh dad you know mm -hmm. and uh, we showed up at market square and we have two cameras and they're like wow this is a lot of equipment you know they still shoot on an iphone right and uh you know which is which is cool so uh, you know we have like little lav mics and all that kind of stuff now so uh, so we, we i guess we're, we try not to be too too crazy and too technical, but it works out pretty mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know, it, it is a little bit more difficult to get the interview, get the you know, as a guy that does video, uh, make sure everybody's mic'd appropriately, yes. so you don't have this weird kind of cross, you know, thing going on. Um, and and they're just a guy talking to a to 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 an iPhone. So that is a little easier. I, I I've been kind of playing with that, like okay. 
can I not bring the big equipment with me? Yeah. You know, yeah. and because I want to be able to make cool, because I'm looking at the movies that are made with iPhones. Yes. <laughs> and, yeah. And just like, if they could do that, what am I doing lugging yeah. around all this big equipment for, right? So <laughs> well, That's exactly it, you know, and that's why I love the, uh, the flip cam and I mm -hmm. broke it, so I had to go to something else, but I was so, it was like I had, you know, like the Jewish people, you tear your lapel, you know, oh my God, you know, the, the, the flip phone's dead. I didn't know what to do. I nearly panicked, but the flip phone has the microphone on the front of the of the camera so where the iphone has the microphone of course on the bottom mm -hmm. so you know when you're in a in a noisy place the flip phone did with as long as you spoke directly at the mic right you were doing great you, you still picked up some some house sound where the iphone you kind of have to cup you know your hand over the microphone area so it's recording uh you know the the sound a little bit better i guess they'd probably make some little boom mics that you can they, they do the there's a lot of stuff that, you can but, get now yeah. you know I, I talked about this actually last week on, on the pod not that that's when this is going to come out um but no you can attach like a little mics yeah. and get these these things so you can hold it and it's a little heftier and actually like screw onto a tripod and everything so yeah. um i mean that's why you know like the the gorilla pod i have the phone connected to so i can sit it the right way to point at you for the periscope yeah. we're using for yeah. today you know stuff like that um and, and that's the whole reason i got back in the ipad because someone's walking around pod camp with this big uh z who actually uh, oh yeah z she, mm -hmm. she she does some stuff with the uh, school and media uh, yeah. in the south hills here and uh i'm just like that i need an ipad again you know i can't do that with my android device you know they don't they don't make <laughs> stuff like that for the android device yeah. and, and we still use ipad ones here for teleprompters yeah you know and i yeah. just grill pod to, to the bottom of the yeah. camera and i got a new a good teleprompter ipad rig but it, it's just so complicated i'm just like i'm just gonna grill pod this thing <laughs> yeah yeah i tell you so. simple is it was it was definitely better i mean well not better but simple was it was cool and, and it's amazing i know how you just quickly edit something now that twitter takes 30 seconds of video you know mm -hmm. uh and uh and so you can do a quick video edit it on an iMovie package you know put a little black fade fade in fade out and boom there it goes you put it on twitter have it's you like, played with that a little bit to do anything outside of the jagos for like quick bits or anything like that? are you considering anything like that now that, that, that that's kind of an option now i've done it some uh i for not outside of the jagoff but i have done it to help promote things like if we're shooting a video or doing a quick promo, a Bonnie Diver, the the traffic lady, she mm -hmm. does a big uh, fundraiser for uh, for a cancer charity, and so I just went to her work one day, took my iPhone, and said, you know, say three, give me three thirty second pitches, and so she pitched the event, and then I just put it in, uh, I put it in iMovie. And you know, faded it up, faded it out, and that was pretty much it's it. Scary really how capable that on real, yeah. Like, <laughs> and the fact that even I can do it. And we've talked before. You know how te much of a technical idiot I am, and I can make it work. So, yep, yep, you know, yep. And that's so. why. It, and I've tried to kind of um, like when I went to uh, San Francisco over the holiday. Um, I, I was like, I'm not bringing anything. I'm not even bringing a laptop. I'm bringing this iPad. I'm bringing my phone. That is it yeah just limiting it yeah. you know and uh and and i took when we got down to san francisco like uh, we took had a day down there at the pier and everything i wanted to make a video i had to make something right because i'm like it's been two weeks i'm here i gotta make something <laughs> you know and i just like took everything with my phone it's a 5s and 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 imported it into my ipad i moved it on there and it's like, an awesome go. video yeah. you know yeah so it's 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 amazing yeah it is amazing so and and, and i gotta i gotta bring up this one uh this is Probably one of my favorite videos you did is this one with Bill Peduto, the mayor of the city of Pittsburgh. And now he's now and this is a guy that he's been he's been to our Chachi plays. He's been around. He's 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 in touch with social media, uh, technology, and everything. And and this was uh, explain explain this one. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'll explain the whole story behind it, depending on how much time you have. But the funny thing is, I play hockey mm -hmm. in in a league, the same league that the mayor plays hockey in. Mm -hmm. It's a beer drinking league, and Saul Markowitz <laughs> plays in the. Does he still play league, in the know? league? He he actually just decided not to play this season because he's been so busy. Of course, yeah. But uh, so I said, hey, you know, we have to do a video, and he said, yeah, sure, come on down, we'll do it, you know, whatever. So I know he plays hockey. I don't know all we're gonna do. So the day we get to shoot, we know we have a half an hour or something like that to to do it. And most of the videos only run, you know, five, six minutes. So it's really mm -hmm. not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. So I said, but I'm not sure what gag we're going to be able to get to do with them. So I packed a hockey bag full of some hockey equipment, two hockey sticks, two hockey balls in case we could shoot 
hockey balls down the hallway. I packed in five bags of Oreos, a gallon of milk, and some mugs in case he wanted to dunk Oreos. And I and I had I had all this crap in this hockey bag and two hockey sticks. And you know what you have to do when you go in that building? Go through you security. Check everything. <laughs> <laughs> so so we can't. And then the video guys are carrying all this stuff. So we finally go up there and they say, by the way, he's running late. You have about 17 minutes with him. We're like, oh, man. So trying to figure out what do we do. And I had these little logos taped on a mug. And, you know, in case we dunk the Oreos. So they're like, hey, he's coming in. You know, we got set up. We got it all lit. You know, we whatever. He's just going to come in. We're going to do our thing. And he couldn't have been any more gracious, quite frankly. So what we did is we decided to shuck all the hockey stuff, shuck all the stuff. We grabbed the two logos off the mugs. I taped them onto the city seal there. And I told him, hey, this is what's going to be the gag. You okay with that? And he says, I'm fine with it. And and then I shoved a couple of Oreos in my pocket. And, we, and I pulled them out during the interview. I mean, it just was... It was as nuts as you could think of because like we have 17 minutes and he has to run to like a real meeting. So here I am pulling the Oreos out of my pocket. <laughs> so I had all this bag of crap. The Oreos that, was the first thing I heard about, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was just amazing to kind of go through security with, with all that crap. And there, it's people that are like, they didn't even want to like, what are you doing? You know, hockey mm -hmm. sticks, a gallon of milk, whatever. But it was a lot of fun. Like, <laughs> and he's just you a good, your own milk. Just, <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I need a props manager, I guess. Now <laughs> uh, you could do, yeah. You know, you could stand. You could stand for that. Hey, there's a lot of movie people in this town there now with all the yeah. stuff going around, all the Batman's yeah. and everything. Uh, <laughs> we just need to get some of them involved. So, wow. <laughs> I borrow some from Scarehouse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, geez. I. Um. Okay. Okay. I gotta bring it back around. <laughs> Good. Check out the videos. You could you could watch those for days. Um. Anyway, how many videos have you done? How many like, jackoffs have you done? Oh, Jesus. You know what? I guess one Redacting a week with. for almost two years. So. Oh, geez. Uh, so well over a hundred. Yeah. Yeah. I guess a hundred. Yeah. And. You know, some of them continue to get hits, like Susie Meister, who is a Pittsburgher, who's been on MTV. And, uh, you know, hers continues to hit the Billy Gardell ones. We did three with Billy Gardell. Mm -hmm. You know, and people just, I guess people just kind of find it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and uh, th this is the one we ran this week with Chris Jameson, who was the <laughs> finalist on The Voice, you know, and... Uh, I barged into a meeting at the Markowitz Communications Office there. And, uh, oh, and, I tell you, he's so the kid's funny. Actually, he played right along with it. We did this all in one take. That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. He, if you want, he t my funniest thing is when we. I said, "Hey, do you think you can give me Adam Levine's phone number?" And he goes, "You know what's weird is it's in my phone, and my phone is sewn into my pocket. I don't know how that <laughs> happened." He just and he he riffed that right off the. I thought that is he's a funny kid. Yeah. Funny so kid. you have a lot of fun. Obviously, a little bit of humility here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I I always tell everybody I have no interest in making the guest look stupid, and uh, and I'm certainly no Jimmy Fallon or David Letterman, but you know, I I don't mind being silly and playing. You know, I, I that's that's just my nature, and uh, you know, I I you know, it it, it I have no interest in making anybody look stupid. Right, you know, right, except than, for yourself. Yeah, yeah, other than myself, which I can do on a daily basis without, and. Uh, I'll tell you, this video here with Dan McCoy, Pittsburgher, golden gold medal winner in Sochi, Russia. That right there, he shoots a wrist shot at 70 miles an hour. Jeez. I couldn't shoot a wrist shot at 50 miles an hour standing. You know, and here he is. And uh, again, we shot a couple of episodes. He in, uh, oh my God, I was... <laughs> He's falling over. He's on the, 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 what is that? Is it like a skate? Or is it like a, it is, a, yeah, like this, this metal frame with mm -hmm. blades on it. And uh, you can see in the back of his, it's a single blade. And, and uh, the upper body strength that he has mm -hmm. is incredible to just get into the ring. And this is the, um, this is for those, uh, maybe on audio, this is like the kind of the, the handicap. It's hockey, sled hockey. Ha sled hockey. Sled that's hockey. right. Yep. Yeah. And Dan is from Fox Chapel area here in Pittsburgh. And he is a he was he was on the Russia team or on the American team that won the gold medal in Sochi, Russia, and uh, and uh, guys, he, you should see him stick handle underneath of his underneath of his uh, his his carriage there. It's it's crazy to me how, how he got right up on you on that slide too. <laughs> yeah. Like I'd be a little scared of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Well, and not only video you guys are doing, I, I noticed you have a book. And that I seems to be, that's like the qualifier. Like you, It seems like every <laughs> blogger has made it when they've made a book. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, here's the thing is, uh, 
you know, it's certainly no Nobel winning or life changing. You're not going to read this and lose weight. You're not going to read this and change your career path or anything. This is a stupid, silly little book. And all it is is um, I there's there's a woman by the name of Donna Cavanaugh who runs a website, humoroutcast.com. Mm -hmm. And she aggregates, she invited me to be a part of her team. So she aggregates one of my blog posts every Thursday onto humoroutcast.com. And she also publishes books. And in the summer, she said, you know, you should do a book. I said, well, I have no idea how to do a book, and nor what, what do I have to say? So we just decided that it would be just a pulling some of the blog post out of the blog and putting it into the book. And uh, it was released right before Christmas by a Nat's eyelash. And, um, and uh, it, went up four, it went up four days before Christmas. Mm -hmm. And uh, by two days before January, before the end of the year, it was number 14 on the humor essay list of Amazon.com. Nice. Which... Well, I don't know if that's fuzzy marketing math or if that's for real, but it sort of sounds really good. And I thought, wow, that's kind of cool. But, uh, you know, again, it's no it's no book that's going to change your life. I call it a good toilet book. You sit on the toilet, you read it. And you just have to make sure you don't read too many and your legs go. But you're numb. published, you know? man. You're published, <laughs> yeah, I right? Guess, I guess that's it. You know, if you talk to my mother, my mother, you go, oh, you have a book. What's it called? What's it about? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, see, see, for me, it's like, oh, you've been on TV, and even though I've been doing video for how many years, you've been on TV. You've made, you've done yeah, something, yeah. haven't oh, you? Is that right? Yeah, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. the that's the thing you bring up at the at the social gatherings with the family. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Well, my book came out. And... Yeah, right, right. Yeah, <laughs> it's you a good know, conversation starter. It, yeah. So you have a book? Well, yeah, I do. You know, and and the weirdest thing was when someone asked me to sign. No. I've done that now more times, but mm -hmm. the first time someone asked me to sign the book, I thought, "Ooh, this is like weird. Like, what? <laughs> what do you care whether I sign your book or not?" And uh, there have been some people who said, "Hey, you sent me the book, but you didn't sign it." I thought, "Well, I, I didn't know you would want it signed. I mean, I'm just John. You know what I mm -hmm. mean?" But it's kind of cool now to see the book out there, and I've done some presentations at the Arcade Comedy Theater about it, and I've done some present uh, Green Tree Library and some Rotary clubs where I talk about the book and. Uh, Generally, you know, and I get nervous that maybe people get nasty about the jag off thing, being a swear word and all that kind of stuff. But generally, very well received, and we have a lot of fun. I get people yelling, "You jag off!" I tell the stories, and I get to the punchline, and I point to them, and they all say, "Yeah, jag off!" You know, so they kind of it's it's been a lot. Of fun. So how is that? So so that I definitely want to talk about because I saw that I was so sad I couldn't make it out for the arcade theater yeah. thing. But so it's just a a kind of a riff thing, or what it was is they do a thing called a hoot nanny, or okay. and where it's if you're involved in improv it's a guest monology it, you're a guest monologist so a monologist goes up there and talks about things five or six times maybe a couple of minutes a piece during the improv show and they go up there and whatever they talk about the improvisers then have to do something based upon whatever was said by the monologist so uh similar to them taking keys from the audience you know give me a word give me this give me that and uh so i went up and i showed some of the pictures from the blog mm-hmm and then told the story about the blog and then for two minutes maybe three minutes of that and then i would get off and then the really entertaining people would get up there the improvisers would get up there and just start improvising off of some of the things that were talked about during oh, no. during my part quite frankly <clears throat> here's the deal i was nervous as hell because uh i wasn't sure how many people were going to show up at the thing i thought oh my god what if only 20 people show up oh well 20 people whatever I, that that afternoon, I cleaned my garage, I cleaned my basement, I cleaned my car, and I did four loans of laundry because I could not sit still waiting for this show to get there and get, get it over with. And then when I showed up and they were adding they were adding seats, you know, the Arcade Comedy Theater is such a great little place and mm -hmm. it's so intimate. And uh, you know, they added a few seats for people to come in. So it was a crowd full and they were yucking it up. And those people at the end, you know, the, the improv people at Arcade are just so, so talented. And I mean, people were just crying. It, it, I mean, I, I'm sitting there laughing. I'm like, wow, I should write. I should hire them to write my write my blog. <laughs> then it'd be really funny. There you go. <laughs> and pictures here were shown. If you're on video from our friends at BoldPittsburgh.com, actually, uh, we're there and uh, and uh, and wrote up about it. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Bold Pittsburgh. Yeah, she and she. I told her. I said, I'm in, I'm as nervous as hell right now. But about halfway through, I decided to have a beer and enjoy myself a little bit. So <laughs> you got into the flow, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah kind of get that uh, the first one, first couple under your belt. It's okay. It's going all right. People aren't throwing anything at this point. And awesome. uh, yeah, so it was fun. Yeah, awesome. What's the weirdest thing that's happened 
since you've started this thing. <laughs> oh my god i can't believe you just asked that is this the thing we were talking about off <laughs> <laughs> no, no but this is this is so one of my good friends i hadn't seen in years his father died and i visited him at the uh, at the funeral home mm -hmm. and you know how at the chapel the, the funeral home the casket's there and then people the further you go back in the room the louder the people talk <laughs> so right so there I was <clears throat> standing there talking to some people and this person comes up and goes, he goes, hey, and he kind of talks out of the side of his mouth. He goes, are you, you jag off? <laughs> I said, uh, yeah. He goes, well, my wife follows you. <laughs> she, she loves your blog. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Here we are standing here. God bless the mister there in the casket. But here, you know, here I am in my suit and tie talking jag offery, I guess. <clears throat> awesome. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so that was probably the weirdest thing at this point. But, you know, I, I've had I've had some other weird things that would we'll just, yeah, we'll do those over beers sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> the real story is like, well, there's one guy. Cause, yeah, because <laughs> it's starting to get those creepy tweets or direct messages and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Right. So, are you so this is this is the downside of celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, celebrity. I don't know. You know, I mean, I still pay for all my dinners and... <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know i have I still a, have a real job i have a role that like if i don't have somebody who comments regularly that is just uh putting down what i'm doing or getting the weird stuff like then i'm not doing enough oh there you go yeah <laughs> like yeah. It, it's very much like i feel like that is the level of like well if i'm not i'm not pissing somebody off i'm not making a bunch of people happy either you know? <laughs> yeah. like, like i feel yeah, like I that's, that's true i feel like that's the that's kind of the you know, one, you accept the bad stuff that yeah. comes across because inevitably, as we all do videos and blogs and, and, and hoot nannies, apparently, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, I mean, you're going to you're in front of people and you have to get that. Yeah. You're going to get that response, yeah. you know, from 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 detractors that yeah. just don't like seeing people on top. No, you know, and, and again, certainly I'm not any kind of celebrity in any means, but maybe in my own head or something. But uh, <laughs> a buddy of mine, uh, he, he wore a T-shirt to breakfast one day and somebody, one of the J, Don't Be a Jag Off T-shirts. And, uh, and somebody said, hey, that's a great T-shirt. Where'd you get that? And uh, they were at the next table over and I was with my daughter and this gentleman. And, uh, and he said, whoa, get it on this blog, you jag .com. And there's the guy who writes the blog right there. His name is John. And my daughter's going, oh my God, dad, people are going to kill us because you make fun of people and whatever. And, you know, and, and, uh, and the guy stood up and he goes, oh my God, I read your blog. I'm so happy to meet you. And all that I... stuff. So then we walked out of there and my daughter going, yeah, man. Yeah, that's my dad. <laughs> So are they adjust? Are the kids adjusting well to this? Yeah, yeah, they have at this point. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of gone, come full circle. My, so, my daughter got to go to Hawaii with me for for a week for crying out loud. Well, yeah, so that's that's really got that's got to smooth it over yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. that's for sure. So. And she got to meet Garth Brooks, and my son got to meet Billy Gardell. So <laughs> I think I have a pretty good Father's Day gift coming up, at least I think <laughs> for sure. <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome what's next for you jag off what you got anything coming up you can talk well about? you know no i i think it's you know it's it's you know trying to do a bunch of things with the book and trying mm. to figure out what else the blog can be you know i've always said the blog will never have f bombs on it never be bullying never never you know poke fun at somebody's ex-spouse or whatever that might be you know it'll always be tasteful and uh you know the more i've been getting invited to more things that are that are pittsburgh news oriented you know i you know uh, a new opening of this or the new opening of bill's bar and burgers you know and yeah so you know the markowitz people said hey you're you're like a person you need to come down and be here so i went and covered the story so we're getting asked to cover some things that are actually happening versus just doing it but i still do them in my silly little way right and, right. Uh, with, your, and with your voice that you've yeah created yeah the, the persona of the yeah. blog and and that's the way i would want to do it i wouldn't want to do it any other way so that's been kind of fun so here i am i have a full-time job that i do things and then I had the second full-time job that pays absolutely nothing. That's a blast, you know. <laughs> so some days I've I have a foot on both boats going down the river, trying to figure out, okay, which one am I going to jump off to, you know? <laughs> and uh, how am I going to figure out living the blogger life and living the, you know, trying to pay the bills at the same time? So, uh, but it's uh, you know it keeps me out of bars on dark bars on on uh, Fridays and Saturday <laughs> nights. So. What What would you advise somebody starting a blog today? Kind of want to figure out. I don't know if their goal is to have that level of, of response or anything like that, but like somebody getting started at this thing or or wants to get their blog, blog better. Well, that's a good question. I, you know, there's so many, and there were so many people that were very helpful. And, you know, 
I know that they they tell people in comedy to if you're if you want to be a comedian, you find the kind of comic that you like, and then you imitate that comedian, mm -hmm. not steal their jokes, but you imitate that comedian. Then eventually you'll become your own your own voice. And I would say the same thing if it's a food blog you want to write, if it's a photography blog, if it's a silly little joke blog, you know. The one thing I know is that, you know, humor blogs are a dime a dozen out there, mm -hmm. right? You know, so how does my blog stick out? Well, maybe my blog sticks out because it's it's micro-oriented to Pittsburghers and ex-Pittsburghers, you know, you jag off. So maybe there's some success in that. But, you know, I think it's a matter of figuring out what the voice is and not being afraid to throw things out there. And I think you don't necessarily have to be controversial, you know. And like, for instance, I would never take on the Jerry Sandusky thing at Penn State. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's just not what my yeah. blog does. But somebody might. But, you know, I think I think that, you know, we I, I know you had Doug Dirt on there about this, uh, his his forecasting, you know, right? <laughs> I saw you retweet that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, those that we may have checked this out. On everybody a, wants to be heard. Now, right, right. You know, everybody wants to be heard. Right. And they all want to get that scoop or whatever. But some people just blog just because it's good therapy. And quite mm. frankly, maybe that's part of it for me. It's just it helps me not be so ticked off at drivers or ignorant right. people. Right. And uh, so I think. If you're starting a blog, you know, I, I know I've heard it a thousand times and I live it. Is it do not start a blog thinking you're going to become a millionaire or nope. famous. Nope. And, uh, and there's no interest in any of those things. It's just, for me, it's just been a fun outlet. I'm kind of like one of these people. If I won a million dollars, I would go buy a radio station and put myself on the morning show. Whether I would, whether people listen or not, I wouldn't care because that's, that's kind of, you know, that would be like my dream job. And so, so maybe this is part of that fulfilling that fantasy now that i'm old and creepy so a podcast is in your future there a podcast yeah <laughs> there you go a podcast yeah why not hey yeah, why, not? So, why so, not but that's i guess the recommendation is just do what you like to do and blog about what you like to blog but there, i think there has to be some focus to it somewhere along the way whether it's pictures food or whatever right yeah right so right awesome awesome yeah. Uh, just for for people that didn't check that out uh, awesome cast this past week as of this recording doug durda was in cnet Quoted in CNET.com in 2004, kind of predicting social media around the Text America Mo blogs of the day. <laughs> he's he's a he's a a precog or something. Yeah, I don't know what you yeah. call it. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little so. do we know, we 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 roam amongst royalty, internet royalty, when we're among Douglas. Durham. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> he's a beer blogger extraordinaire, and uh, and, and and he's actually been on one of my yakking with your jagoffs. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We've talked about beer, and uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun at the Bocktown uh, at the Bocktown uh, location. Oh, there. he loves the Bocktown. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I can see why. <laughs> It is so weird because I'm not a craft beer person, you know, uh, but we're surrounded by this. Yes, craft beer week is, I think, still going on right now. Is I think that it right? might be, um, yeah. Or, yeah. And, and, and I'm just like, I, I, it just it boggles my mind. And plus, I can't drink the stuff. I think I'm allergic to something. So. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, it is an interesting culture. And we have, you know, between him, Uncle Crappy, of course, and yeah, Baldwin, okay. he's been periscoping from all of his tastings oh, really? and everything. Okay. It's, been, it's been great. Wow. It's been fun. So <laughs> awesome. Um, so, hey, thanks for joining us here. You're, like I said, the maiden voyage Jeez. of this interview. So we're like the Lewis and Clark of Awesome Cast. Awesome That's right. Chat. That's right. And this is what I want to be. I'm like, just conversation. Just be like, what are, what are yeah. you doing? What you live, Learn about you. Things going on. And uh, have some fun with that. I so, appreciate it. And we'll, You're we'll, always kind. We'll work on a regular question structure as we go <laughs> we don't have that big question yet you know but like we always have the like what are you watching in wrestling for the other shows so we're like like i need to like pick a story each week or something like yeah that. yeah but, yeah uh, like what's on your ipod right now you know actually or, that's a good one like, you know or not ipod anymore <laughs> what's on your itunes i guess or, or your what are you like? watching on youtube these days uh yeah what am i watching on youtube i actually watch let's see what do i watch on youtube I, I definitely watch Pittsburgh Dad, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, and uh, um, Jesus, I just uh, I, I watch a lot of co comedy stuff. Jim Gaffigan, and uh, I oh, like the, uh, the Between Two Ferns. Uh, yeah, I definitely watch Between Two Ferns. I mean, that's just it's just brilliant, you know. And uh, I listen to a lot of podcasts more than I watch YouTube. And I podcasts I'm listening to, you know, um, oh, geez, I just forgot the guy's name, Mark Maron. Mark Marin and uh, and listen to people that are trying to help. You know, Freakonomics, mm -hmm. listen to the Freakonomics mm -hmm. podcast and all that. 
Uh, I love all those stuff, and I, I guess I must be a bored old person. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, and I watch um, what is it? Uh, Mike Warbucks is that? Uh, shoot, what is his name now? Um, Michael, it is Michael Warbucks, isn't it? I should know it. I should look at it. Oh, now I look stupid, huh? <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> now I look like a YouTube jagoff. <laughs> <laughs> so you just need to take a picture of this and you just put it on your, this still of you. Yeah. You just put it in your thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is me looking like a jag off during the awesome chat. Yeah. <laughs> but he does like a weekly or a daily kind of quick video update from his basement. And he's local and mm -hmm. uh, he has a ton of followers. Uh, awesome. Yeah. And, uh, and I just started following Croc and Moms, Crockpot Moms. They're local and uh, they have like on Facebook, like 300,000 followers or something. And they do crock pot recipes. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? Why not? Yeah. What's a niche? Yeah. Crock, crock pot. Uh, cro I can't even say crock pot. <laughs> <laughs> crock pot mons on Facebook. This is them. Wow. Um, is, is, is this them? Yeah, yeah. Crock, crock and moms. Oh, that looks delicious. And it's completely them. off my they diet. Make oh, they make cakes. They make They make cakes in a crock pot? They make cakes in a crock pot. That's oh, amazing. Yeah, Grilled yeah, cheese yeah, sandwich. Yeah. Oh, I did not yeah. get enough for lunch here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crock, crock pot barbecue ribs. This is ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, no. Yeah, they're, they're good. I actually did a turkey in a crock pot after I watched what they did. <laughs> Stuffed turkey. After oh, wow, chicken Look stew. At that yeah. Oh, just... so, yeah. So, I mean, those are. it's funny how just local people on uh you know on youtube are making a big bang it's kind of interesting awesome i'm sharing that with my wife <laughs> <laughs> she'll love that site all right check them out yeah jagoff.com thanks for joining us check out his videos blog and uh are you guys are you doing any more uh arcade theater things coming up or does that look like it might be a regular thing or you something? know uh christy nolan from the arcade said hey maybe we'll see how it goes and maybe we'll do one every six months or something like awesome. that so yeah i'll let you know I, I you know, follow the blog, whatever. I'll certainly let everybody know because I don't want to go there and talk to myself. So hopefully people come out. And in the meantime, we leave you with the boat going down the river. <laughs> this show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.